Hello everyone and thank you for being part of the Arsenal Hub and welcome to the Arsenal Hub where we're going to be having a preview, a match preview between our two wonderful clubs and that's Bayern Munich and the football club Arsenal. It's season away game for the football club Arsenal. So uh, my name is Abu Kaus and let's get the party started. Bayern Munich versus Arsenal, our Champions League quarter final showdown is what we definitely are going to be looking into. So um, Definitely, let me first welcome you here and welcome to the Arsenal Hub. And today, we are gearing up for an electrifying clash as Arsenal faces off giants, big giants, and that's uh, Bayern Munich in the Champions League quarterfinal. And this match promises to be a special Hectable, uh, for footballing prowess with both teams hungry for a shot at glory and uh, it will be noted that Arsenal want this win badly as uh, much as also Bayern Munich want it because uh, Bayern Munich hasn't been performing very well with Bayer Leverkusen really getting on top and uh, beating them badly Definitely, they want this. And uh, anyway, uh, back to business. The tie is finally balanced at a 2-2 as it heads to uh, Bavaria for the second leg. And uh, Bayern Munich, despite the recent dominancy in domestic competitions, have failed. And I will say have failed to uh, get on top again and also have fly, uh, have actually uh, gone into a Champions League quarterfinals since, have not gone to a Champions League quarterfinals since their last triumph in uh, 2020. And meanwhile, Arsenal seek to break the free form, uh, free from uh, uh, the shackles of Champions League knockout cast, you know, uh, aiming to reach the semi-finals of the first time uh, for the first time since 2009 and uh, I must say um, despite everything that's going on Ateta has to be praised you know so the Gunners are looking uh, to bounce back from a heartbreaking defeat to Aston Villa and that was definitely not good and uh, adding fuel to the fire uh, as the Gunners prepare to face the formidable Bayern Munich definitely so uh, with players like Gabriel Martinelli and Jogino potentially returning to the lineup definitely uh, that should uh, get some extra extra firepower you know as Arsenal fans remain hopeful uh, for a standout performance on uh, the European stage anyway I think, I definitely think that Arsenal this time round should not take it lightly. And Arsenal is supposed to beat Bayern and uh, it didn't happen, you know. That game that ended 2-2, it shouldn't have gone like that. Should Arsenal should have had at least 2-0, you know. Anyway, however, uh, Bayern won't make it quite easy. We All of us know that. So despite their Bundesliga title defense officially ending, it definitely ended. Ended. We're talking about Bayer Leverkusen ending them, you know. Uh, it will be remembered that uh, they remain a force to be reckoned with, especially on home ground, you know. When it comes to home turf, they're very difficult to beat. With key players uh, like Manuel Neuer expected to return from injury, it will be noted that Bayer Munich Bayern Munich will be formidable. I uh, will be a formidable opponent for Mikel Arteta's side, and uh, 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 it has to be uh, quite a lot has to be done to make sure that uh, definitely all you get it as you want. Uh, for those of you uh, tuning in uh, from uh, the UK, you can definitely catch up at uh, the action live on TNT uh, Sport Two uh, with coverage starting at 7 p.m. BST, and alternatively subscribers can uh, stream the match online uh, via discovery plus on the uh, app and uh, in anywhere you definitely go to you can gate that game and uh, uh, you can stay updated with real-time analysis from a uh, standard sports live blog feature link uh, insights from uh, Simon uh, Collins at uh, the Allianz Arena you know but definitely 
everything uh, will go as planned very soon and uh, I think as is starting to see a bit of hope when uh, even when uh, 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 many are losing hope you know as uh, I'm, uh, anyway, I'm feeling a mix of uh, a mix of uh, nerves and uh, a bit of excitement. You know, it's uh, it's a task to take on uh, quite uh, it's a task to take on Bayern Munich, but with the resiliency and determination of Arteta's squad, anything is possible. Yeah, so the odds may be against Arsenal, but football miracles can definitely happen. But I don't think it should even we should call it miracles because. Arsenal has proved that he can beat big teams. And uh, that draw really also proves a thing. Even when we thought it would be a win for Arsenal and he did it. But I think... Anyway, so mark your calendars for Wednesday. And uh, definitely um, the April 17, 2024. As we witness the epic showdown between two footballing giants. And join us as we cheer on... And uh, join us as we give you the predictions for a memorable performance that uh, propels us one step uh, definitely closer to Champions League glory uh, for the football club Arsenal and uh, Arsenal on the line of Champions League. Let us know what you definitely think. A little bit about that Crystal Palace game. Not Crystal Palace, Aston Villa game. What happened? I mean, Arsenal was supposed to win that game. Aston Villa was not supposed to win that game. I mean, the first half. When I watched the first half, I was like, mm, there's still a bit of chance. But you could see all those chances that were missed. They were telling you something that this game could turn out to be complicated. I mean, Kai Havis missed one-on-one -on -one with Emiliano Martinez. He missed around three opportunities. And those would have been goals, you know, at least one goal, at least two goals, you know. And if uh, the thing is like this, if Arsenal had scored in the first half, because they have played, they had plenty of opportunities to uh, to score, but they did it one on one. Gabriel Jesus failed one on one. Bukayo Saka, all of the football players who tried, they could not score. And why is it so? It's because of Emiliano Martinez, world goalkeeper stopped Arsenal and if Arsenal is going into a game with a tough goalkeeper they definitely should be knowing that it could turn otherwise you know things might not go the way they were so an extra effort has to be made in the final third because when you look at a goalkeeper like Emiliano Martinez yeah you've got to have something extra to penetrate to put the net to put the ball behind the net anyway let's hope things keep on moving on quite well for the football club Arsenal and remember Bayern Munich has got a tough goalkeeper in there so Arsenal should be ready and very ready for the Bayern Munich goalkeeper Bayern Munich is very hungry you know and it's gonna be a tough one because they don't want to leave or lose out on this you know because it's what they literally it's what they they are left to fight for, you know, because their hopes for Champions League football uh, for uh, for taking the Bundesliga are definitely out. It's already done, you know. Bayer Leverkusen has already taken the trophy, you know. They've played very well and they've had an unbeaten run. They're playing quite quite well with their new manager who's made quite a lot of improvement. So that leaves Bayern Munich with all their hopes now, all their hopes in Champions League football. And let's be honest, yeah? It's going to be a tough one because, one, it's an away game for Arsenal, yeah? And two... Bayern want it so bad. They've not got any other major competition. Arsenal is uh, still fighting for Premier League role, you know. Uh, Premier League football and uh, 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 the title is still... There's still big chances that Arsenal can take the Premier League title. Well, Lars, when you look at Bayern Munich, really, Bayern Munich is focused. All the focus is on one thing now, and that is Champions League football. 
So let's hope things move on quite well for Arsenal. And uh, we'll definitely uh, talk about more in another video. For now, I remain Abu Kaos. And please subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on anything I've got to bring to you right about here at the Arsenal Hub with me, your very host, Abu Kaos. As I say, thank you and goodbye, my friends. Let's meet in another video. Do not forget to subscribe.